Yes. Yes. Boker Or, Mesechet Baba Kama, Daf Membet Amud Aleph 42A1. We are a few lines down where it says, Tanya Idach. Okay, so this is two, four, five lines down. Tanya Idach. Okay? Tanya Idach. We learned the Braita in another form. It says Ubala Shor Naki. What does it mean Ubala Shor Naki? Rabbi Yosek Leomer, Rabbi Yosek Le says, Naki Midmev Ladot, which means if a Shor comes and he hits a pregnant woman and she was Mapila, she had a miscarriage because of it, right? So therefore, he's going to be patur from paying the Vladot. Amalo Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva says, I don't understand you. It says in the Pasuk, Bechinatsu Anashim in Agufu Ishara, Anashim Veloshvarim. It only says it already says there only when a man comes and hits a pregnant woman does he have to pay the of ladot. But not when a shor comes and hits a pregnant woman does he have to pay the of ladot. So answers the Gemara. Shapi Kamar Rebekiva, you're right. Is it good? It's good what he said. He said a beautiful answer. He's meaning that he, uh, he didn't understand what's going on. <clears throat> so answers the Gemara. Amar of Ula Beder Davidi. Itzrich, you still need it. Why? Sal I would have thought to say Anashim Lo Shvarim had domin la Anashim. Ma anashim muadin, just like an abenadam, he's tamid muad. So to shvarim muadin, hatam. If it was a tam, you'd be mechayev. So katav rachmana. That's why the Torah says balashon naki that even a tam is going to be patur. Meaning the reason why we still needed it and it wasn't good enough, like what the Rebbe said was, I would have thought to say that it's an adam which is dumya, right? It's an adam which is going to be dumya to how do you call this? Which is going to be an adam which is going to be dumya to. Uh, the shore, which is a muad. But if it's a short tam, you'll be chayav. Comes teach you by the shor naki that even a tam is going to be patur. Okay? So Amar Rava Rava comes and he says, Yatsiva be'ara ve'giyora bishmeshmaya. This happens many, many times. Right? Somebody actually just mentioned this to me yesterday. He says, I don't understand you. You have a citizen, right? Right? That he's going to be on the land and the ger is going to be bishmeshmaya. Meaning, who has more rights? A guest or a citizen? A citizen. So you're going to tell me that the citizen, right, has one thing and the other one is, it's, it's weird. Like, what's going on exactly? You understand? Something's wrong. So says the Gimara, Yatsiva Bara, meaning many times this happens. You have these people that they come from the outside and Kilo, they want more power than the people on the inside. You're like, hey, Iowa, where are you going? You understand? This guy's here for a thing. You're going to come, you're, you're a newcomer and you're going to take over. What's going on? Yatsiva be'ara ve'giyora bishmeh shmaya. Ela marava, but rather Rava comes and he says, right, when Rabbi Yosef Gile comes and he says, Yitzchik, we still need it. Why? Meaning, by the way, sorry, I forgot to mention. What was the, what, how was the analogy to our Gemara? How could it be that a muad, which is worse than a tam, a muad is going to be patur for killing the, the, the babies, right, the fetus, and then the tam is going to be chayav. Right? Yatsiva be'ara ve'giyora does it make sense? So the answer is going to be like, rather Rav says, it's if you needed it. I would have thought to say, Anashim lo shvarim. Adomil anashim. When it says anashim, anashim, when people are fighting and then there's a pregnant woman and he hits a pregnant woman. So it's only going to be domel anashim. Ma anashim muadin, just like a, a person is going to be a muad. So to shvarim is going to be a muad. Kalvachomer, all the kalvachomer to tell me that it's going to be patur. So you make a kalvachomer. Hadak Rav Ramana, then the Torah comes and says, Bala Shonaki, Atam is patur. The muad is going to be chayav. I have to flip it around. You're right. The muad is chayav. But how do you learn that? At the beginning, I would have thought to say that when it says anashim, is anashim velo shvarim muads. But then all of a sudden I come and I tell you, ah, what about now the tam? So I'm learning that it's a kavachomer that a tam should be patur. So now when the Torah comes and it says balashor naki, so balashor naki teaches you that only the tam is patur and the muad is going to be chayav. Okay, so I'm going to buy it. Why come to the yes? Ela meata, so we're going to ask the following question now. Kabe boshet, to do the boshet. Nami ni meachi, we don't say the same thing. Anashim velo shvarim. When it says people, it's people and not shvarim. Hadomim la anashim, which are going to be like people, just like people are muad, so to the shvarim have to be muad. Kavachomer to the time it's going to be patur. Then the Torah says, Valashor naki, the time is patur, muad is going to be chayaf. So basically, he comes and he says, Bechite meachi nami, you're going to tell me that's the case with it? Right? So he comes and he says, he comes and he says, like this, uh, he says, uh, right? He says, the Balashor is going to be Muad. 
באמת, he's going to be חייב to pay for the bullshit, just like the Nevi Ladot. So he says, יאח יליט מי בלה שור נקי, so why don't we learn בלה שור נקי? So we also get to say, פטו מדמי ולדות ומבושת, you're right, you're going to be פטו also from ולדות, and also from בושת. You're going to pay for both, you're going to be exempt from both. So, אלא אביי ורבא דאם לי תבעי, but rather אביי ורבא, and both of them come and they say, right, he says, אנשים, what does it mean here when it says in the פסוק, אנשים ולא שפנים? אין אסון באישה, the woman wasn't killed. יאנשו, so therefore they have to pay the דמי ולדות. יש אסון באישה, but if the woman was killed, לא יאנשו, they don't pay. Right? Why? Because they get killed. Right? They get killed. They don't pay. So he comes and he says, he says, Velo Shvarim. What does it mean now? Velo Shvarim. Okay? Um, so now he comes and he says like this, The Afal Gav Diyesh Ason, because even though there's going to be an Ason, Yan Shu. Right? So he says that even though there's going to be an Ason, Yan Shu, they should be punished. So Hadar Ketav Rachmana, so therefore the Torah comes and it says, Zubal Ashon Naki. What does it mean, Bal Ashon Naki? The Patur, then it's going to be Patur. So Matkif, La Ravada, Ravada Barava comes and he asks the following question, Atu Be'ason Talia Minta? Do I care about the Ason? The Chavana Talia Minta. Meaning like this, why do you tell me now that the Patur happens to be with whether a woman was actually killed or not? Everything has to do with the Kavana. What does that mean? Right? The person will never have, be Patur from Amon unless he has Kavana to kill the human being. <coughs> Right? So even if there is an ason to the woman, right, he still, he still should pay the Dmei Veladot because he didn't have Kavanah to kill. So if he didn't have Kavanah to kill, so you can't kill him. And therefore, obviously, he's still giving you Chayav. So what's going on? One more time. When does a person become exempt of paying money when they are killed? When are they killed? When they had Kavanah to kill. Here, he didn't have Kavanah to kill the woman. He was punching out the other guy. The other guy moved out of the way. And the guy just went for the zoo. Boom! Knocked her out. But he knocked her out so cold, she killed. But now, he's not going to be killed if he didn't have Kavanah to kill. He didn't have Kavanah to kill the woman. Right? The other guy moved out of the way and went and went right for her and it killed her. So obviously, you should come and you should pay for the Dmei Vladot. He says, when it says, Anashim, You're right, when we're talking about one person wanting to kill another person and not the woman, even though there's an, an assault for the woman, you still have to pay. When what happens if you had covenant for the woman herself? So then they're not going to be they're not going to be punished, right? Mean that you're not going to have to pay the mevlado because now he's going to be killed because he had covenant to kill the woman. Because even if you did have covenant for the woman, Yanshu, you would still have to come and pay for the vladot, and therefore the ktav rachmana v'alashonaki that he's going to be patul from the vladot. Meaning by a shore, even if he has kavana to go for the woman, he's still going to be exempt for. The Just like Rav Barava, that basically they were able to say that when it says Anashim Shvanim, it's coming to be Mechayev the Balashur Dmei Vladot, right? In a case where he had Kavanah to kill the woman. Why? Because we said that even if he had Kavanah to kill the woman, he would still have to come and start paying, right, for the, the Vladot. And that's why he was going to say, no, Balashur Laki, you don't have to pay for the Vladot. Okay? Fine. Next. Tanya Yidach, we have another Braita. When it says, Ubal Ashor Naki, what does it mean when it says the Bal Ashor Naki? Rabbi Kiva says, Naki Midme Aeved, means that if you have a short tam that kills an Eved, he's patur from paying the Knas of the Shoshim Shikalim. That's what it means, Bal Ashor Naki. He's Naki, he killed an Eved, doesn't have to pay. Mumbet Amumbet, 42b. So says the Gimara, Membet, Membet Amumbet, Mumbet, yeah? The name of Rabbi Akiva Lanafshe. So he says, So why don't we just say, why doesn't Rabbi Akiva just say the question in himself? Right? If it's only going to pay from its body, meaning it's going to pay Chetzinezik from its body, because that's a tam. So bring it to the Bedin and let it pay you. So Amar of Shumar Barir Yitzchak, Sel Shumar Yitzchak, Keshekadam Be'alav Ushchato, they did Shechita to it already. So Ma'od the Tema would have thought to say, Lishta Lemine, so pay from the body. Since you had to kill the animal, even though you did shechita, he does not collect the money from it because it had to be done, he had to get killed. And then they went and they ran and they did shechita to it. But it had to be killed. So I asked the Gemara, if so, according to Rabbi Yezir, also the same thing. They did shechita, right? Even before the Gemara did. What's, what's going on? 
Okay? So Achanam, you're right. Savar, he holds. It says, maybe it was a better one, and therefore you should have said it. Rabbi Yezer also. Why don't we learn? Right? What does that mean? That he already did the Shechita beforehand. So Amalekha is going to tell you, Hatamhu, then it. Right? He says, Hatamu didn't kaven la rogetu bema vareket adam. Over there, they had kavana to kill the animal and to kill the, the human being as well. So therefore, the shor, lav barat katala huklal. Remember that you're not chayav a sekila if the shor goes another shor. Sakadad I would have thought to say though, right? The nichayev, that you should be nichayev, right? He comes and he says, you should be nichayev, he's sikra le miute. So therefore, the Torah needed to come and to be mimaet. Aval hacha, but over here, the miikara bar katalahu, hava, that at the beginning it is bar katala, right? That means at the beginning, right? When he came and wanted to kill, so therefore that's it, they had to be killed. So lo tzrich kra, you don't need a pasuk bichal to teach you that there's no kofir, afag of the shachte, even though you came and you did the shchita, and it's not going to be the before the gmardin, and it's not going to be a subana, right? One more time, everyone's with me. When it says over here, right, that in a case where the shore had kavana to come and to kill the behema and to kill the human being, the shore love bar katala hukla, a shore is still not a bar katala still. It's not chayav skila still. The salka that I mean, I would have thought to say nechayev that it's going to be chayav is sikra lemiute, and that's why the, the Torah comes and it says it's coming to be mimaet such a case. Okay, it's coming to exclude this case. But in our case, where basically he was kadam the shachto, he came first and he did the shchita before the gemar din. The meikara bar katala, he was already chayav mita. So then I don't need a pasuk to tell you that there's no kofir. Right? And even though you already did the shita, okay? Ulubi Akiva, and according to Rabbi Akiva Nami, the Dayachiu, it's the same Malacha. That means the Bala Shor is going to be patul from paying the 30 shekalim, right? In a case where he came and he did the shita. Why? Because at the beginning he had to do shita. And when it says Bala Shor Naki, it's, you needed it then. Elam Ravasi, but rather Ravasi comes and he says, I heard this in front of in the name of a great person. And who's that great person? Rabbi Yosef Al-Khanina. Salka I mean, I would have thought to say, since Rabbi Akiva comes and he says, Af tam shechaval be'adam. When you have a tam that comes and he's going to do chavila be'adam, so he's going to be meshalem b'motar nezek shalem. He has to actually pay the nezek shalem, which means like this. According to Shittat Rabbi Akiva, Lamed Gimel Amud Be, Amud Alef, we said that even if the short tam comes and it's chaval be'adam, yeah, the bala shor still pays the, the difference between the, the nezeks. Nezek Shalem. Why? Because according to his shita, Atam Shinagach, right? Adam is going to be Chayav Nezek Shalem. Okay? Just like Shor Mua. <coughs> so he comes and he says, Mishtalem Nami, Deme Eved, Me Aliyah. So, so too it's going to pay the Deme Eved from the Aliyah. Okay? So, Katab Rahmana, that's why the Torah says, Ubala Shor Naki. What does that come to teach you? It comes to teach you, right, that the, the tam is going to be patur, right, from class on killing an edit. Yeah? So he says like this, Amale Rabbi Zerah Ravashi. You're listening? Says Rabbi Zerah to Ravashi, Veha Tavir Rabbi Akiva Lekzize. He says, Rabbi Akiva was Chazarbo. The title was learned in the Braita, Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva comes and he says, Yachol, Yishalem in Aliyah. I would have thought that you're going to pay from the Aliyah, you're only going to pay from the body, but you're not going to pay from the aliyah. So it comes out that according to this, why do you need Balashor Naki to teach you that when a short time kills an Evid, that you're not going to come and you're not going to, uh, you know, take the knas from the aliyah? Obviously not. Right? Meaning if Rabbi Akiva himself was Chuzerbo, so why do I need a Pasuk? It's Mefurash. You're never going to collect more than that. Elama Ravav, Rava, but rather Rava says, it's you still need it. I would have thought to say holo mechmide. Since right now I'm going to be machmir, so eved you tell me ben chorin. I'm going to be machmir in an eved even more than a ben chorin. She right? He says why? She ben chorin yefe sela noten sela. Ushoshim noten shoshim. Milu eved sela noten shoshim u mishtalem nami deme eved min aliyah. Meaning like this, I'm going to ask you a question. Imagine a shor comes and he kills a human being. What does he have to pay? Kofir. How much is a kofir? The belly. If the guy's worth five bucks, 
five bucks, a thousand, a thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, according to the value, hundred thousand, according to the value. He'll never pay more. An Evid, he could be fixed price. It's a fixed price. You're right. Sometimes it could happen that it's worth 500 and he's paying 30 or whatever it is, but it doesn't matter. But sometimes it can be worth one and he's still paying 30. He's paying 30 slam. That's the way it is. By an Evid. That's the class. That's, that's the value. That's what a person has to pay. For Nevi Kirani and Shikha Kiranit. So therefore, comes the Gemara and says, I would have thought to say that since right now by an Evid, an Evid is even worse. Worse or better, depends on you put it in the terminology, than even a regular human being. Because a regular human being, you're only paying the value. The Evid, you're always paying a certain amount. So I would have thought to say also that you're going to pay for the Evid, also Minad That's why the Torah says Bala Shonaki. That's why it says Bala Shonaki. Okay? Manya, we learned in the Braita, Kavate de Rava, in accordance to Rava. When it says Bala Shonaki, what does that mean, Balashon Naki? Rabbi Akiva explains, Naki mid me He doesn't have to pay for the Eved at all. So says even now, one second, we have a Kavachom, Eva Lodinu. Hoil vechaya be Eved. If right now you're going to be Chayab a Knas if he killed the Eved, right? The Eved, right? The, the, the shore killed him. Vechaya be Ben Chorin, you're going to be Chayab Ben Chorin. Makesh Shikriba Ben Chorin, Chilakta Ben Tabula. Just like by Ben Chorin, there's going to be a difference between a Tam and a Muad, right? And basically, what's happening is that the Tashlum is only in a Muad and not in a Tam. So too, when you're going to be Mechayab in an Eved, you should make a differentiation between a, a Tam and a Muad. The old Kalvachom, and you have another Kalvachom also. Just like the Ben Chorin, Shenoten Kol Shovyo, you always give its full value, and you made a differentiation between a Tam and a Muad. An Eved, which you're not giving the full value, you're only giving 30 Shekalim, right? So, Enodin Shenachlok, so you should make a differentiation between a Tam and a Muad. So, answers the Gemara, no. Machmideni Be'eved Yoter Mi Ben Chorin, She Ben Chorin Yafe Sela, Noten Sela. Shloshim, noten shloshim. Eved, yafe, sela, noten shloshim. So he comes and he says this. He comes and he says, no, there's a big difference. He says, why? He comes and he says, right? We're not going to do that. Why? Because we're going to be machmir and eved more. Because when you have a ben chorin that's worth a sela, you give a sela. If he's worth 30, you give 30 slime. But an eved, even if he's worth a sela, you have to give 30, 30 shkalim. So therefore, he comes out that an eved is more machmir than a ben chorin. So I would have thought to say you were going to be Chayav the Knast. Someone might come teach you that he's going to be Naki with Mea Eved. He doesn't have to pay for the, the Eved. Meaning even though I would have had a Havamina that he does have to pay for the Eved, that's why you need a Pasuk. You don't have to pay for the Eved. Okay? Tanu Rabbanan. We learned in the Braita. What does that mean? You're going to kill a man or a woman. What is this coming to teach you? If it's going to be obligating a woman like a man, it already says, right, that you're going to come, you're going to divide. It's making a kesh, a woman, to a man. So to a woman, meaning, just like when somebody damages a human being, he has to pay the human being. And if that guy dies, so he has to pay the inheritors, same thing with a woman. It's going to pay the, the inheritors. And that's what it means when it says, What does that mean? It says, why does it say, That a woman also, she'll give it over to her inheritors. So says the Gimana, the, the husband doesn't inherit? Why in the world would it go to her inheritors? The husband always inherits his wife. So says the Gimana, Tanya, we learned, These are the words of Rabbi Kiva. So Amar Shakish says Rashatish, Lo Amar Ella be Kofer, we're talking about Kofer, Holvin Mishamin Lachamita, since Kofer is paid after Mita, it's considered Raui. The En Abal Notel Beraui Kru Muksak. The Bal does not take in the Raui like Muksak. My time out's reasoning. Amar Kar, the Pasuk says, Vemit Isho Isha, Hashori Sakel, Vegam Bealav, Yumat. In Kofer Yushat Alav. What does that mean? We're coming, we're saying that when it says over here in the Pasuk, that he's going to kill a man or a woman in the right of the short, he's okay, but I'm going to have you So therefore, just like the short is not going to be niskal until after mitah before, right? So to hear the same thing, the kofir is not going to be paid until after the mamash mitah, and therefore it's considered ra'ui. So the husband doesn't inherit it, it's her inheritors that are going to inherit it. Umin is zakin, but to do without an zakin, no, I'm going to be keeping didn't say that. Why? The time is we learned in the right, the ikata isha, yatsu yeladev. A person comes and he hits a woman, and then afterwards comes out the yeladim, or the nezek vitzah la isha. You have to give Nezik Vitzar for the woman, 
right? Ud mev ladot lebal, and mev ladot for the husband, right? He says, and a bal noten liyoshav, right? And the bal is not going to come and give to liyoshim, and a yisha noten noten liyoshia. Also, he doesn't give it to the liyoshia. Liyoshia, haita shivcha v'nishkach rera, right? But he comes and he says, but if she was a shivcha kenanit and then she was uh, she was freed, right? So therefore, that means they don't have any types of yoshim or whatever it is. So therefore, or giyoret or a giyoret. Zacha. So then you're going to be Zoche. We're going to speak about it, right? The Mazik is going to be Zoche because basically, since he gored and he was was a Yoret, there's no inheritor, so therefore he keeps the money. So, if so we're going to speak about that. Woman is a 